How's everything going with your thesis? I should be able to publish it next month. <sighs> well, Azar was one of your thesis advisors. Honestly, I was afraid that you might have gotten dragged down. The newly appointed Acting Grand Sage reviewed all of our projects and gave us permission- Acting Grand Sage? That sounds like a new thing. Yeah, I heard that selecting new sages has been taking some time, so he's just filling in. But it's all thanks to him that our research results weren't jeopardized. Once my paper is published, I'm definitely giving myself a- They're really out of their minds, making I'll hate them the acting grand say. Take it easy, Professor. I'm puzzled as well. Just going by qualifications, you're- Fool! Do you think I'm angry because I wasn't chosen for the position? No! It's because I don't under- He was one of my students, but he rarely attended class. When I asked him about it, he retorted that self stud What brazen arrogance! Misery of miseries! For the academia to have- Professor, don't get so worked up. I'll go get you some water. Psst! Wanna hear a secret? I've heard the new acting Grand Sage is from Haravatat. Really? Who is it? Someone named Alhatham. Never met him myself, but he's a real hot topic right now. There's also a Vahumana scholar who's been in the spotlight recently. They say that he's a likely pick to be one of the next sages. Oh, is he teaching any courses? Maybe we should drop by. Wow, news of Alhatham being the acting Grand Sage sure spread fast. Some people don't know who he is, though. Some people are saying good things and others bad. Especially that old guy just now. Uh... Hey! Uh, the Matra. The Matra? I I'm Ilias. I have to talk to a Matra about something important. In the state you're in? You shouldn't push yourself. Why don't you tell us what happened and we'll pass on your message to Amatra. No, I have to tell them myself. They are the only ones I could try. Sorry, can you lend me your arm? This. Since you put it that way, fine, we'll take you to Amatra. We promised to take him to Amatra, but we don't know that many, do we? Oh, wait! Sino should be back at the Academia! Let's go find him! Uh, hey there! Excuse us, but is Sino at the Academia? You two look familiar. Are you friends of Mahamatra Sino? But if you'd like, I can pass whatever message you might have on to him. We ran into this guy by the gates, and he seems really eager to speak with Amatra. It's- Oh? If you don't mind, why don't you tell me about it first? <sighs> Siraj. Siraj. That name sounds from- Vahumana Researcher? Yes, one of their most renowned, in fact. I hear he's as daring as he- There are rumors he'll become Vahumana's next sage. Uh, but please continue, good sir. I want to report him for conducting a dangerous... He kidnapped me, tied me up, and took me to that horrible cave. I ran as fast as I could, a little slower, and he would have caught me. There's no rush. Please, what kind of experiments was he conducting? I don't remember. Huh? You can't remember? All I remember is Siraj walking towards me, and then my head started feeling... It's like a nightmare that I can't recall. I just know that that place is dangerous, and that- Oh! I heard they conduct business in the tavern. We have to hurry! Even if what you say is- All right. I'll have some of my colleagues, but before that, I would like to administer the Matra lie detector test. You think I'm lying? Please don't take it the wrong way. This is just standard- Sorry, but can you two wait out here a little while? Let me bring you up to speed. First things first, Ilyas passed the lie detector test. This indicates that what he said is highly credible. 
As such, we've decided to launch an investigation based on the leads he provided. Per protocol, this matter was reported to acting Grand Sage Alhatham. After hearing about it, he left a message for Mahamatra Saina. Huh. It's kind of weird for you to be working with the Matra. Is there a... You're overthinking things. My interest was piqued, is all. Really? I'm unsurprised you have this much free time. In that case, let's join in as well, shall we, Traveler? It's already against protocol for acting Grand Sage Alhatham to participate in this investigation. Oh, never mind. After all, you were the ones who brought Ilyas here. I'll allow you to accompany us, but you have to promise to keep- Don't you worry. Our lips are sealed. All right. In that case, I'll fill you in on what we know so far. Ilyas claimed that Siraj will be conducting some business with a Kasharawa researcher at the tavern. This is one of his few clear memories. It seems he stumbled upon this information while escaping. Incidentally, Siraj isn't at the academia right now. He applied for long-term off-site research one month ago. It's close to the time that Ilyas had given, so we've decided to head to the tavern and investigate any suspicious persons. That's right. Arav, prepare to head out. You two, do as you will. Oh, come on! We're here, Acting Grand Sage Alhatham. What's our next course of action? Hmm. Acting Grand Sage Alhatham? Looks like you haven't read any memos lately. The new Academia Decree clearly states that even a sage doesn't have the authority to interfere with the Matra's actions during an ongoing investigation. If your superior were here, he wouldn't be asking me what to do. Instead, he'd be telling me to stay out of- You're right. Understood. Then please wait here as we lock down the perimeter and search for sus- Ilyas, please stay here. Acting Grand Sage Alhatham, I'll have to trouble you with the protection of our- <sighs> Sure. Though I'd rather he just protect himself. Answering a simplistic question only enables the questioner. Besides, I need him to understand my position clearly. Arav has just as many doubts about my coming along as you do, but unlike you two, he's making this matter more complicated than it is, with his considerations like the acting Grand Sage is trying to seize the Matra's powers. That question was obviously bait. The Matra were once under the influence of the Sages, and so were often subject to these bureaucratic tra- The test was strictly unnecessary, though. I hope that our exchange will assure him that I won't in- Ugh, why is this so This is why I was against becoming the Acting Grand Sage from the very first. Titles and rank inevitably make a lot of things more- Excuse me, Acting Grand Sage Alhatham. I've had a question on my mind, and I need to- No. I have no recollection of ever meeting you. Haha! <laughs> I thought so too. <clears throat> I probably- Then why did you ask? Well, for some reason I felt a sense of famili- Really? A misperception, perhaps. Acting Grand Sage Alhatham? We've apprehended a suspect. Siraj? No, it's the Kasharawa researcher who has dealings with him. His name is Narendra. S uh, acting sage all wait uh can someone please explain what's going on i admit that i i did steal some mechanical components from the lab and sell them but just what have i got myself into i i know i let greg get the best of me but but please i promise that this won't i would like to ask him a few questions of course do you know siraj yeah that's the name of my buyer he asked to make the transaction at the tavern, but he ne What were the details of this transaction? He's doing some kind of experiment that seems to require many power generators and electrical components that can only be found in our project. He contacted me in private and said that he'd pay a large sum of Mora if I was willing to put some aside for him. We had originally agreed to meet at the tavern earlier today to do the trade. I sure didn't expect to get stood up. Perhaps Siraj was aware that Ilyas might leak information, so he intentionally didn't show up. 
Whatever the the good news is, regardless of what Siraj was planning, his progress will now be severely hindered by a lack of power generators and electrical components. We still have time to conduct our investi- Do you have any more questions for the suspect? No. He's all yours. But, I'd like to borrow Ilya- oh, That's fine. We conducted a comprehensive lie detection exam, which showed that he has a genuine case of amnesia. We're not planning to pursue any further breakthroughs on that. However, I am curious. What do you- I've read some papers regarding amnesia, and I'd like to try restoring his memories. I see. We'll be returning to the Academia, then. I'll leave Ilyas in your care. Follow me. I thought you would have guessed the reason by now. Huh? Uh... Hyman has no clue! Yes. We were classmates. Oh, so that's why you asked to come along when Arav briefed you on the situation. So you're not here because you're interested in the case itself, but be- You couldn't be further from the truth. But I wasn't- For the time being, all you need to know is that we were once classmates. I became the scribe afterwards while he continued his academic endeavor. He submitted a thesis one year ago, and the Grand Sage at the time asked for my opinion. I did not approve of it because it committed one of the six cardinal sins by touching upon human evolution. From violating matters regarding human evolution to attempting the forbidden and fearing none, the six cardinal sins are the origin of all evil in this world. They are also what the sages use as a reference. My opinion was that Siraj's research was both overly naive and in violation of various core principles. The Grand Sage took some of my suggestions. So that's why he's buying energy sources and electrical components. He's most likely trying to circumvent the rules and conduct his experiment in secret. That sounds super suspicious. Oh, Ilias, can you try to remember things again? Maybe- I'm sorry. But I've already tried many times, and no matter how hard I try, it's it is possible for a person to subconsciously forget some of their memories as a defense mechanism against extreme stress. However, these memories aren't truly lost, but merely sealed away. They can be restored with the appropriate stimulus. Now, try to recall things you care about. They don't need to be related to this case. Well, actually, I feel like I've forgotten more than just the memories of the time I was kidnapped and experimented on. The kind of person I am, the things I've done. I can remember some things, but I can't recall some others no matter how hard I try. But I do vaguely remember that there are two things that I have to do no matter what. Do tell. The first is to get my paycheck from the academia and give it to my younger sister in Gondarvavan. I'm not sure about the details, but it seems that I would send money to my younger sister every month. And the second thing? What's the second thing? I... can't remember. Sorry, there's just- Not unexpected. However, you're the only one who has seen Siraj and knows the exact location of his cave at present. As such, we'll do everything we can to help you- Losing your memories must be really painful. But don't you worry, we'll help you get them all back! Oh, thank you so much! This feeling, it's more than just pain. I have so few memories that I don't even have a clear idea of who I am. And my head's always ringing. It feels like I could faint at any moment. But amidst all that, it also feels like I've been set free somehow. Nevertheless, I have you all to thank for bringing me what clarity I do- Now, I do remember that I worked part-time at a place in the academia called the Research Preparation Center. That's also where I got my monthly pay- I see. In that case, let's go and find whoever's in charge there.
Oh, um, uh, Acting Grand Sage Alhatham. I've sent this period's research expenses report to your office. Have you taken a look? Are there any issues with it? I did. Recent research expenses have decreased quite a bit compared to past figures. Yes, though that is primarily because there are fewer scholars with research needs. But that can be a rather convoluted topic. Might I ask why you are here today? I believe you know this individual. His name is Ilyas. He worked part-time here, and he's here for his paycheck. Oh, yes, of course. Though, Ilyas, where have you been these past few days? That was our busy period, but then you disappeared without a word. Everyone had to pick up the slack. I'm sorry, something unexpected came up. But I know I've caused trouble for everyone. Is there anything I can do to make up for it? The other researchers have more or less finished your share of the work. However, there is one- Do you remember Chandra? You were in charge of following up on his off-site research application. He retracted his application a few days ago and cancelled his off-site project. He's the twelfth person to retract a research application this month. I'd like you to ask him why he did that. Hmm, Chandra is probably having coffee at this hour, so you can find him at the cafe. Understood. Then, about my pay- I'll pay you in full once you return. However, make sure you don't disappear without saying anything again. Be considerate to your colleagues and give them some forewarning at least. Mm, is this acceptable? Acting- I have no objections. Elias? Long time no see. What can I do for you? I heard that you cancelled your research project, so I'm just here to ask you why. Oh, that. Um, it's really nothing special. I, I just don't feel like going anymore. I'm, I'm not the only one who cancelled, right? I mean, uh, people have had no motivation to conduct research lately, haven't they? No motivation to conduct research? Yeah. Say... Who might you be? You look sort of familiar- No, um, don't mind me. Please. Well, with the downfall of the Sages not long ago, many of the projects that they led were put on hold while they were being investigated. With the situation being so volatile, people are picking up random things to do to kill time. No one wants to risk starting any new research until it's clear how things will pan out in the future. When you say, how things will pan out, you actually mean what the new Sages would have interest in, right? Wow, talk about blunt. But that isn't the only reason for the lack of motivation to start new research. So what are the other reasons? Well, because the Akasha Terminal shut down. I'm sure you're all aware that we require all kinds of knowledge to perform any of the re- Back then, the Akasha would respond to any of our requests for the knowledge we needed. It was beyond convenient. We didn't have to spend an extended amount of time studying, so we were able to immediately run various tests I see. You get it, right? After having had a taste of something so amazing, who can be bothered to manually sift through data? There are only a handful of people at the academia who are starting new projects or performing research. Most people are like me, waiting for a recognized researcher to start a project before immediately applying to join. Although our names will be further down in the paper, we'll have a much easier time. We don't have to do most of the mental heavy lifting. All we have to do is focus on our assigned tasks. <laughs> Ilias? What's wrong? My head... it hurts!
I remember now. I remember what Siraj said to me as he approached. You will become Siraj number 36. Fuse yourself with a consciousness under my control. Think only in accordance with a set module. But Iron doesn't get it. What does that even mean? It's what Siraj was researching and the topic of the thesis he had submitted. Collective consciousness and the path of evolution. Siraj believed that by achieving three objectives, he could create a collective consciousness in human society and drive humans toward their ultimate evolution. First, he would rank test subjects in descending order of ability, with number one serving as the Overmind. This Overmind would then divide tasks into numerous modules and delegate them to the Collective's members based on their assigned number. Lastly, members would share their memories and emotions to facilitate the rapid exchange of information within the Collective. Paimon still doesn't get it. What's the point of all that? Think of it as linking many minds together and tailoring a given mind's assigned work based on its compatibility. Eventually, everyone's minds will be consolidated into a new form of existence that is both an individual and an org. Siraj believes this collective consciousness is superior to individual humans. Whoa! Squishing a whole bunch of people together? Paimon thinks that sounds horrible! It's just as Alhatham said. Siraj gave all the test subjects different numbers. Bigger numbers meant you had a lower rank, so your assigned tasks were less complex, such as being responsible for everyone's basic needs. Smaller numbers were ranked higher, so you'd be given more complex assignments like planning for the future. Siraj referred to me as number 36, and I think I also recall that Siraj said his plan was proceeding very quickly, and that the hive would soon be... Oh no! Then we gotta hurry! We have to stop him before it's complete! I tried my best, but that's all I can remember. I still can't recall where the cave is. I'm really sorry. Take your time. You'll eventually remember it all. However... What's off? You were only designated as number 36? What a shame. From what I can see, your talents merit a smaller number. I'm not sure what Siraj's numbering system is based on. Anyway, we're done here. Let's go. Please, wait. I heard you all talking about Siraj just now. Are you looking for him? Huh? Do you know something? Well, Siraj is pretty popular as of late. I heard he's gained recognition from a lot of well-known researchers. Supposedly, he's a strong contender for being one of the next stages. There are many who would give up everything to be a part of his research team. I'm nothing special though, so I doubt I'd get the opportunity. That said, I do know a researcher who received an invitation from Siraj but declined it. Her name is John. If you're interested, you can try to find her. She's usually reading at the pavilion in the garden. I'm sorry, but I... Are you playing dumb with me? No, I'm not. I, I actually have amnesia, so I've lost a lot of my... Me and? <laughs> are you trying to say that I should forgive you just because you've forgotten what you've done? Or are you using the acting Grand Sage as backup to settle things with me? The two biggest loners teaming up. <laughs> That's enough. There seems to be a dispute between the two of you, but I have no interest in that. I heard that Siraj once invited you to join his project. Is that true? So, what if it is? Siraj did extend an invitation to me, and I was also interested in his project. I think it was about collective consciousness or something. Anyway, he said that I could be number 45. I refused, because I thought that rank was no one wants to be placed at the bottom. <laughs> Certainly not me. Elias is number 36, and Janaki was supposed to be number 45. Ugh, just how many people did Siraj- Tell me, did Siraj tell you how he assigned numbers? 
Yeah. Remember how the sages took advantage of the Akasha and extracted Yana energy from our heads back then? They left a document that records the amount of Yana energy that the Akasha had extracted from each person. I don't know how Siraj got his hands on that document, but he used it as the basis for his number. Hmm. I see. He believes that this data can be used to evaluate a person's computing power. Putting aside the validity of the data, it is meaningless to judge individuals based solely on their Nyana energy. At most, Nyana energy can only be seen as representing a portion of a person's abilities. Humans are complicated beings, so it- See? I knew I couldn't have only been ranked as 45. What else do you know about Siraj? That's it. He came to me, I refused, and that was the end of it. Is there anything else you needed? If not, I'm out of here. Please wait, I, I... I still want to know what I did in the past. You really forgot? I swear, I don't remember- Paimon can vouch for him. The mantra also said that he truly lost his memories. I see. You know what? It's better this- I get angry just thinking about it, so I really don't have the patience to fill you in. All you need to know is that you got a lot of people in trouble back then, including me. That's all I have to say. Goodbye. And she's gone. She doesn't seem to like you very much. I really don't. But after she said that, I've had this- I guess I did something. Do you want to remember? Huh? Even though you're a witness against Siraj in this case, you've all... No one can force you to remember if you don't want to. Even if you manage to remember, all you would need to do is feign ig... I'm not sure what to do. Like I said before, for some reason I felt a sense of freedom when I realized I had lost my memories, but... I feel like I shouldn't be allowed to go free so easily. I still want to remember everything. What should I do? I can look up your file. Something that caused trouble for a lot of people in the past must be on file somewhere. Would you like me to look into it? Yes, please. All right, then let's return to the house of Dana. We've spent enough time here, and you should go and get your paycheck. Let's split up for now. Ilyas, you go and deal with that. The rest of you, come to the archives with me. We'll meet back here later and then head over to Gandarvaville. Okay, thank you all so much. Relax, Ilyas. Being nervous accomplishes nothing. That's true. <sighs> I'm ready. No matter what I've done, I'll also try my best to remember anything else related to Siraj. Well, I'm holding you to that. See you later. Okay. The important files from the last few years should all be here.
Hmm. What's wrong? Nothing. Anyway, I found Ilyas's file. Let's meet downstairs. What have I done? This file indicates that you were once commended by the Academia for your courage and sense of justice. You were considered a hero. Huh? Yes. Your instructor was engaging in academic fraud, and you were the one who reported him. Your report was found to be true after a series of investigations, and your instructor was brought to justice by the Matra. This incident caused quite the commotion, and the Academia sent you a commendation. <laughs> what is it? Are any memories coming back to- No, it's just... Uh, my head feels like it's being- Did I seriously do that? Then why? Let's put this matter aside for now. It isn't directly related to Siraj, so there's no need to push yourself over it. I'm sorry. That should have been something good to hear, but my body is instinctively rejecting it. I feel like I'll black out if I- Take it slow. Recovering memories is no easy task, especially when it involves memories that you don't want to remember. Just do what you think is right. Thank you. I'm not sure how you're so calm and composed all the time, but- Let's head to Gundarvaville and deliver Ilyas's paycheck to his sister. Come on! We should be close. Let me think. It should be this way. Ilyas, what are you doing back here? Dad. Uh, it's nothing. I was just wondering how everyone was- You sure everything's okay? Did they bully you again? <gasps> Ilyas, what's wrong? Uh, I'm fine. Just a minor headache. I haven't been getting much rest lately. <sighs> Back then, I told you not to be a hero. Look how things turned out. I can't imagine how things are going for you at the Academia. We've even been receiving threat letters. You don't have to force yourself to stay at the Academia. You can always come back home. I'm alright, I just need a little rest. Ilyas doesn't seem like he wants them to know that he has amnesia. Hey, hey! That's enough, you two! Ilyas isn't feeling well. You can keep nap- Ilyas, let's find somewhere to talk. So, how's your headache? It's much better now. <laughs> oh, here, it's this month's paycheck. How's everything at home? Same old, same old. It's just that everyone's worried about you. Don't mind their nagging. Deep down, they know that you did the right thing. It's just that after hearing a lot of bad rumors about you and seeing all the threatening letters, well, they're mom and dad. Maybe they just- Conform. Yeah. You don't remember? Ab Ilyas? What's- Ah, oh, I see. I remember now. You're acting a little weird today, you know? Anyway, I understand your decision. But Mom, Dad, and I just want- I don't care if you're a hero or not. I just want you to enjoy life and relax more. Your understanding is a great comfort to him. Is it? That's good. Are you a friend of his? More so these two. My name is Alhatham, and this is the Traveler. Oh, that rings a bell. At any rate, 
I feel more at ease knowing that my brother has... Would you like to join us for dinner? I just happened to buy some extra food. Sorry, but I still have things I need to take care of. Well, that's a shame. Okay, I'll get going then. Don't worry. I won't do anything to make you go- You remember now? Yes, I do. Thanks for that. You know, you don't seem like such a bad person. Is that your way of conveying gratitude? Oh, my apologies, but I meant every word. Remember when I asked at the tavern if we had ever met? I said that there was a sense of familiarity, but what I really meant was a sense- Loathing? Yeah, but having spent some time with you, I realized that you're not someone I dislike to that extent. Strange, isn't it? Why did I have those thoughts at that time? My strength is that I don't care about what others think. If you could also develop this quality, then you won't be as bothered by complicated social relationships. It'd be great if I could think like you. <laughs> uh, but first things first, I remember- Really? That's great! Uh, Pyro remembers that you said there are two things that you had to do. We've only checked off one, right? What about the other one? Are we not gonna do that first? There are more important things at hand. We have to stop Siraj before he completes his collective consciousness, or it'll be too late. You're right. Let's head out. This is the place. It's so well hidden. But there's nothing spooky about it. sense him nearby. Did he get separated from us? Should we wait here or turn around? There's no need for that. Let's keep moving. Uh, alright. We'll continue in and see if he catches up to us. It's okay, Ilyas. You've done more than enough for me already. I don't understand. Everyone knows that Johnny is stealing your research. Why is no one willing to go public with the truth? He shamelessly used your thesis to send in a project application. And whenever the project hits a wall, he asks you for help. Every Do you know how many people are working on that project? If Johnny was kicked out because of academic fraud, that'd be the end of the project. But he's obviously taking advantage of you! He throws you the hardest work, and after you're done pulling all-nighters, he struts around with your research data and takes credit for it. That's not right! Why are you putting up with this? A lot of people warn me to not say anything. And I think they have a point. This is just how things are. All I- <sighs> It's okay. He's at least paying me. 
half a year of your time and effort. Countless all-nighters and casual threats and insults. All for a measly 20,000 mora. He's treating people like cattle. Enough. It's fine. I just need to suck it up and get it done. What's the matter? Huh? You could read minds this whole time and you never told Paimon? Of course not. I was also able to see those memories just now. They were probably the ones that leaked out while Ilios was conne connecting. Collective. It's clear that this place isn't a work in progress. The hive has long been finished. The collective consciousness project is already complete, and Ilios is now returning to the collective. Not entirely. Keep walking, and you'll see. from what Ilya said. This place looks like it's been done for a while. Contributing to the collective by only thinking to your strengths. How easy. Wait. Them. Just thinking of that name fills me with hatred. We must get rid of him. Hmm. <laughs> there have been many poorly written applications lately. I guess I'll just have to reject them all. An entire year's worth of work down the drain. And for what? Your reputation? 
Do you have any idea how many people you brought? You could have played Hero any time. So why couldn't you have waited until the project was complete? I don't understand what you guys are saying. Are you saying you don't care that Raju jumped to his death? It's a shame. What happened to him? I, I thought he was... Everyone has been working hard to complete the project. He could have endured for a bit longer. In any case, we're done with you. Because of your recklessness, the Matra are putting Johnny on trial. Oh, this project is done for. None of this affects you at all. But do you know how many people, myself included, needed this project to come? Now our futures are up in the air. If worst comes to pass, we might not be able to graduate. I'm sorry. There's no need for an apology. It's not like I'll accept it anyway. You'll pay. Hey, you're blinking out again. What did you see? Don't jump to conclusions just yet. Save your words for when we see him. Well, Alias, this is all very strange. Is there really no... Well, to pass this course, you must complete a paper with other researchers. I know you're a hero for fighting academic fraud, but well, we can't make exceptions for... Maybe you should try to improve your relationship with the other researchers. Huh? Getting a reputation for being too un... I understand. <sighs> you seem troubled. Who are you? Ah, where are my manners? My name is Siraj. Siraj? I've heard of you before. Mm, the world hates people who don't fit in. I imagine you've had your fair share of- After you reported Johnny for academic fraud, you are ostracized. And however, I'm working on some research that will help you merge into a- How about it? Wanna have a go?
What did you see? Paimon can't believe it! He really did trick us! That Giga Jerk! No, Siraj is the real Giga Jerk here! Ilias is just a regular jerk! Ooh, Paimon's so mad! We're gonna find him and we're gonna make him explain himself! You've come. I intentionally slowed my integration into the collective consciousness because I wanted to see you one last- And I wanted to apologize to you as him. It was only at Gondarvaville that the second thing I must do occurred to me. To throw off the Matra and bring Alhatham to the Hive. That- You, you were already Siraj number 36? But you passed- Yes. I truly did forget many things during that time, even my- However, it's not that I got scared and forgot. It's difficult to fool Alhatham, so I had to create the perfect guise. And the best guise is when you believe your own lies. Correct. I only told you that the hive was incomplete because I had deleted my memories of- It was finished a long time ago. Before I left, I was already living as number 36. Now. Only here can I be truly free. That's all I wanted to say. After I enter this room, my consciousness will merge. Is this your decision? <sighs> yeah, the person we know is Ilyas. The outside world is painful sometimes, but Paima doesn't think that- Do you need more time to consider? Il hey, who are- That is Siraj. Giga jerk! Giga jerk? Huh, how bold of you! You! I modified Akasha terminals to allow users to share memories and emotions. Then, I recruited researchers from the academia to build a collective consciousness. I assigned numbers to everyone and divided the experiment's tasks amongst them. Here, people can live easily and happily without needing to exercise complex mental thought. Then I ask you, what's the difference between here, there are researchers at the academia who engage in dangerous research in extreme environments while others become idle. People are so obsessed with collective will that even those on the fringes will attempt to fit in after suffering. Isn't that right, Ilyas? <sighs> There's no need to deny this. As it is fact, it is natural for s- And the terminus of conformity is a collective consciousness through which even an ordinary bee colony can become a powerful swarm. Replace the bees with- Welcome to the hive, Alhatham. You once arrogantly denied the merits of this project before- A few simple words from you and my research was consigned to nothingness. Of course, I'm well aware that you don't care about any of this. But I didn't give up. I made my thesis into- When we arrived, I noticed many empty rooms in the hive. Oh, you noticed that? <laughs> then can you guess where their inhabitants are? The answer is the academia. They're executing another fate. The collective consciousness links all of us into a single mind, showcasing our individual strengths as we work together. We are able to execute complex undertakings while instantaneously modifying our strategy. Everything has been proceeding smoothly. You are our biggest obstacle. With you out of the way, I'll use my growing influence to turn. The project will snowball until ultimately everyone will be part of my hive. I... No. The hive will be in control. And it will lead the academia towards a new future. We won't let you do this! What can you achieve with mere words? You weren't even able to change Ilyas's mind. Return to the hive, number 36. Yes. Wait! Don't go back! Uh, look! There are lots of people out there worried about- And you aren't an outcast! Aren't we your friends? That's easy for you to say, given that you're travelers. Will you two continue to stay at the academia? 
When you leave, tragedy will repeat itself. Return number 36. You know as well as I do that comforting words don't make- Helios? Why? You two are just as arrogant as all hate them. You think that everyone should be like you and live according to their own truths. But you don't realize. I allowed number 36 to leave the hive without his memories only because I knew he would eventually return. I'll hate them. Do say a word or two. I, I made those words quite clear a year ago. The model you presented was extremely unstable. No amount of garish packaging will change its fragile nature. <sighs> It can't be helped. If you were clever enough to realize those problems, then you would have been aware that the Hive changed when Ilios returned to this collective consciousness of yours. What? What's happening? The collective needs motivation to execute its plans, just as machinery requires energy to operate. That's why you, as the Overmind, synchronized your hatred of me into the Collective, prompting them to create and execute a plan to eliminate me. However, when Ilias returned to the Collective, his memories and emotions were shared with the rest of its member. Thanks for that. You know, you don't seem like such a bad person. Strange, isn't it? Why did I have those thoughts? This contradicts the hatred you had provided them. And these two differing emotions will give rise to new con- So that's it! Wait, so you knew that Ilias would re- And then you pretended to keep him around just to fool Siraj! Wouldn't expect any less from you, all Hatham. Once the collective consciousness bugs out, we'll take that opportunity to- Uh, wait. It's back to no- All Hatham, I told you. You're too arrogant. Ilias's return had indeed introduced abnormal emotions into the- Your struggle has been in vain. And it's time to end it. Allow me to show- So many monsters. Where- And something feel- I also integrated monsters into the collective, though I ranked them last. Even so, despite their lack of intelligence, perfect cooperation can be achieved. Much like soldiers who have undergone- Now then, drown in endless waves of monsters. Hey, I'll hate them? Uh, your plan didn't work, so what do we- I've already sent my gift to the Collective. It'll take some time for the recipient- You two just need to brace yourselves for the nuisance in front of us. Well, alright. Paimon doesn't know how you get so confident, but we'll hold them- A process of elimination. Hot, the frying pan into the fire. Quicker. I'll hate them. Isn't that bad of a person? But it has to be done! You must be eliminated so that we can evolve! Tear! You see? That is the will of the Collective. Even with the hatred gone, they continue their work. An external anomaly cannot shake the Collective. He's a lot tougher than we imagined. Something's gone wrong with the academia. The march. Useless. Nice and spicy. Let the show begin. La, 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 la. 
freeze. Ha. Ha. This moment will be frozen. Loba, get them. Boring. Scatter. Here you are. Jim. What's going on? What's with this sudden influx of information? Silence! Has the Overmind, I command you! Possible. Why hasn't it been resolved yet? The will of the collective cannot be wrong. The Overmind must have made an error in his judgment. But Siraj is the most intelligent among us. He is number one. His judgment is the optimal one. Is that true? Not necessarily. Don't you have an easy way to figure this out? <laughs> you were only designated as number 36. What a shame. From what I can see, your talents merit a smaller number. Putting aside the validity of the data, it is meaningless to judge individuals based solely on their Nyana energy. What you said to Ilias has now become a memory shared by all members of the Hive. I see it now! You've channeled and amplified their selfish desires! You're trying to destroy my hive from the inside out! Human minds are not infinitely pliable, and your hive has stretched many of them to their limit. Once your authority as Overmind starts to wane, it won't be long before your subjects snap back. Is it worth living here like a machine? Being a tool for the rest of my life? As soon as one person begins to have these thoughts, Selfishness, doubt, and fear will propagate, thanks to the web of consciousness that you built. At this stage, your so-called hive has already fallen. It's not over yet. I am the Overmind! There has to be a way! It's too late. Once the desires of the Hive accumulate, beyond a certain threshold, they will kill their king. You wouldn't have suffered such a disgraceful defeat if I was the Overmind. My number shouldn't be so far down the list! Siraj is a liar! This isn't what we agreed to! I should be the one in your position! <laughs> Members of a collective consciousness are more likely to reach a consensus because of their shared memories and emotions. For example, Ilios did have differing perceptions, but he ultimately followed the collective consciousness's judgment. However, this system is far from perfect. Based on this logic, the collective consciousness will generate an- The disturbance that Ilios caused wasn't for naught. It made the collective question the- Setbacks in the plan further amplified doubt which diminishes the Overmind's influence. Apprehension, disappointment, panic, avarice. 
These negative emotions can be very well hidden, as but in the hive, where there are no secrets, negativity can spread like a tidal wave. Of course, what I said, a few words were enough. Believe in the power of words, Siraj. You were already thinking of a way to destroy the collective consciousness. You knew that Ilyas was the bait all along? I knew it from the moment I saw him. Moreover, I never looked down on you. My opinion of you has always been objective. You have a naive view towards the concepts of collective consciousness and human evolution. You would never let a test subject escape. Mistakes like that are beneath you, and you also won't leave any mist- <laughs> I never thought I'd hear those words come from you. I know very well that you've never viewed me as an equal. When you were with us, you always had a distant look in your eyes. You don't need to hide it. I know it better than anyone else. The arrogance- Your perspective is entirely born from your habitual way of looking at things. From your perspective, you probably think I'm like you. Someone who doesn't fit in. I just want to distance myself from meaningless noise and look at every- On the other hand, you have failed to come to terms with who you truly are. You mean to say that I'm the arrogant one here? Is that not so? Arrogant and emotionally fragile. You view people as a simple, mediocre collective. <sighs> Regardless, I have lost. You will stand trial, yes. But arresting people isn't in my job description. I'm just an ordinary staff member. I believe it is the general mo- Sino? What are you doing here? I followed the symbols. Looks like things have already been settled. Symbols? I left a similar picture in my letter to him, and I made several similar symbols on the way here. Wait, what do you mean you left a letter? Oh, Paimon remembers! When Paimon first saw you, Arav. So you really did know that something was up with Ilyas from the start? It'd be best if you didn't spout nonsense. I never employed any mode of trickery on you. By the way, I came across some information at the Academia a few days ago. If you pre- Seriously? This- By the way, Sino, Paimon heard that Siraj sent more people to the Academia! We can't let those jerks get away! Don't worry. The Matra have started screening suspicious persons. And we've already arrested many of Siraj's associates. This was likely one factor that caused the Hive's consciousness to waver. Good. Seems like the interesting part is all. See you. And off he goes. <sighs> There's still. Oh no. Oh no. I was involved in all these plans to get rid of the acting. What came over me? How could I do something like this? We were accomplices without knowing it. But I'm afraid that Alhatham might pressure the Matra into- Whether he's the scribe or the acting Grand Sage, we can't afford to offend him. We can discuss the future later. Leaving the Collective left me with a- I didn't feel anything towards Alhatham at first, since he wasn't well known. All the opinions I heard about him were negative, though. Siraj made us hate all Haytham, and we blindly accepted that hatred, and from how things look, we've done a lot of irrational things. I guess we're getting what we deserve. Uh, could you help us apologize to all Haytham? Sure, Paimon will help you tell all Haytham, but whether he chooses to forgive- It's okay. No matter what he chooses, apologizing will make us feel slightly better. If he chooses to remember this, it's time to go. <sighs> Let's go. So, were they all duped? We can ask all Haytham about that later.
Looks like I can't exist as Siraj number 36. When I was at Gundarvaville, I thought about whether I should just come, but I didn't have the courage then. So in the end, I lost my sense of justice. Ilias? Don't be sad. I'm the one who deceived you. However, I didn't come out of this completely empty-handed. I realized that the collective I was always trying to fit into wasn't as pow- Understanding that gave me courage somehow. Perhaps one day, I could be just like all Haytham, and not care about what anyone else thinks. You can do it. Paimon believes in you. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I should get going. I'm one of the primary suspects in the case. Can you keep this a secret from my parents and my sister? I just don't want them to worry. Also, please apologize to all Haytham for me. All the test subjects have been taken away. I'll have my subordinates seal the place, retrieve all documentation, and destroy the system. Are you too hurt? I brought bandages and hemostatics. Paimon's fine. <sighs> Just a little tired. Get some rest. Oh, Haytham is probably waiting for you at the entrance. Go see him when you're done here. Watch out for any of Siraj's associates who might still be in hiding. If you encounter anything you can't take care of, come find me at the Academia. Okay, you stay safe too, Sino. Let's go meet up with Al Haytham. The matter's settled. We can return now. <laughs> I actually thought it would have been settled sooner. This took much longer than I expected. Judging by your faces, it seems like you two still have some questions. I respect your curiosity, but I'm off the clock now, so I'm not going to field any questions. Hey! We're not your colleagues! Um... You couldn't tell that was an excuse just now? What? until you explain what happened back at Siraj's secret base! See ya. Ah! Uh, hold it right there! Are you done? Your behavior is reminding me- Stop changing the subject! Uh, uh. It's too much of a hassle to explain everything from the top. You know what? Come with- uh, uh, where to? You'll know when we get there. Yes. <laughs> What's with you all of a sudden? Being all polite. Ah, you're back. Quick, come help me see if this painting's all straightened. Uh, and... Huh? Stop making a fuss. They're obviously guests. You're not from the Academia, are you? I'm unsure she's seen you before. <gasps> You're the- Wait, what? How do you know me? Oh no, oh no, do people- What? You're embarrassed only now of all times? Oh, you guys are roommates! Yes, yes we are, but keep that to yourselves. Please. I keep a few books on collectives and the subconscious here at home. I'll get them. You all chat in the meantime. Uh, hey! Hey! You're leaving just like that? 
What's the deal, Alhatham? Uh, <laughs> uh... Sorry, I know we've only just met, but I have to ask. Are you, um... You wouldn't happen to be actors that Alhatham hired to pretend to be his friends, would you? Uh... What? Guess not. I've never seen him invite friends home before, so please excuse my surprise. You guys get it, right? You know, with his temperament and stuff. But aren't you his friend? Uh, I wouldn't say friends exactly. Okay, well, we used to be. Huh? Don't worry about it. My name is Kave. I'm sorry to have met you under these circumstances. Anyway, please... You seem like you got a lot going on. So maybe some more I will... Are you serious? How could you... Ugh, of course. What? That was a normal response. You exposed your own weakness. Still, why do you have to treat me like he... Judging by the deafening din coming from the living room, you all must be getting along quite well. Hmm. Entertain your own friends, why don't you? I'll leave the books here. from reading. This is way too complicated. Why don't we... Paima wants to know... Uh... Oh, how did you know about the collective consciousness's weakness? A year ago, Siraj presented his thesis to the Grand Sage, who offhandedly asked for my opinion. I actually... The first, as I've already said, was that his research was on human evolution, a subject prohibited by the academia. The second was that I thought the direction of his research was too extreme, but his approach too conservative. Wait, that's too conservative? He built such a large lab, gathered all those people, and even tried to get rid of you! One way to stabilize a collective consciousness is to remove the test subject's humanity altogether. The optimal solution to achieve collective consciousness is to focus solely on the overmind and treat the other test subjects as tools. That's way too dangerous! Y you're not- I'm merely stating the facts. If Siraj had done that, I would have felt his work to be just as senseless. It's impossible for any species to evolve overnight, and humans without their humanity cannot be called humans. That's why the academia prohibited research into human evolution. Most research of this kind tends to run contrary to evolution. Huh. I'm on- Ha! <laughs> That's rich coming from you. If humans aren't humans without their humanity, then you'll probably evolve into some- What about you? Are you going to devolve into a fungus? At least I'd be a fungus with empathy! Sorry for eavesdropping, but what happened to you guys? Are you in trouble? Sort of. We encountered a strange researcher that had it out for us. Are you all okay? Huh. So that's how- Ah, <sighs> such is life. If only he'd known, Alhatham could have stayed in- Plus, he could have helped me with the housework for once. See those books? They've been sitting there waiting for someone to sort through them for an age. If you're not gonna read them, tidy them away! They don't both- uh... uh... <sighs> Can you feel the awkwardness in the air? I hope you're aware of your lack of conversational skills. Oh, so the pot's calling the kettle black, is he? Hmm. Well, I'm doing quite well. Much better than that painting you're trying to hang on. You... You don't understand anything. Stop criticizing my... Paimon can't tell which of them is more problematic. <sighs> Let's just get this over with and leave. You whisper very loudly. Oh! Um... Yeah! Do you have any more questions? Let Paimon think. Uh... Oh, by the way, the other researchers apologized. I bear them no ill will. More accurately, I don't really care about what they think of me. To some extent, they were also fooled by Siraj. The Matra will take this into account at their trials. Ilyas also said that he wanted to tell us the truth at Gondarvaville, but he didn't have the courage. He apologized to you too. It doesn't matter. I never considered asking him to come. Judging from his experiences, he's more courageous than the average person. There's no need to lay even more criticism on him. I'm going for dinner in 10 minutes, so I'll field one last question. Paimon doesn't have any more questions. How about you? Oh, yeah, that... You only started investigating with the matcha.
Sinatra at the Academia because you were interested. But after meeting Siraj, it didn't seem like you were interested in him or his experience. I had no interest in him personally, but I was curious as to why so many people were willing to form a collective consciousness with him. I now understand the reason. Correct. The fall of the sages and the shutdown of the Akasha terminals deeply... The fact that Siraj's project attracted so much interest despite not being approved speaks to the lack of research projects as of late. As the acting Grand Sage, I'll have to figure something out. In addition, what happened to Ilyas is worth our attention. Reporting academic fraud was the right thing to do. He didn't deserve the outcome that he had received. Paimon understands now. Oh, you're pretty serious when it comes to work. I think minimum viable seriousness is a more apt description. I'll do my best to take care of this mess until my resignation is approved. Wait, your resignation? Yes. I've already submitted my resignation to the Academia. Soon, I'll resign as the Acting Grand Sage and go back to being its scribe. I don't think Siraj knew about that. If he had waited just a few more days before acting, I would have already resigned. What he'd do then wouldn't have been any concern of mine. However, even without my input, his unstable model would have collapsed for some other reason, so it makes no difference. But why do you want to resign? I'm not suited to be a sage, nor do I want to be one. The official process to select the new sages is already underway, but this process is long and takes far too much time. If I serve as acting Grand Sage for too long, the position might become permanent. That would be troublesome. This job isn't something I want to spend the rest of my life doing. It's important to keep your priorities straight. Well, it's about time. You too should grab some dinner as well. Oh, now that you say that, Paimon's kinda hungry. See ya! We're gonna grab some yummies! See ya. <laughs>